visit you at the point of your need. Let me talk about something one more minute. How do you know God has visited you? Number one. By faith in the integrity of his word. And then number two, by a performance. Blessed is she that believes for unto her. So it does not just stop at believing. How do I know God has visited me? Number one, I believe based on the integrity of his word. But number two, I believe because there will be a performance, a manifestation. How do I know God has healed me? Number one, because I know that he heals. But number two, because I know the pain has gone. Not just by faith as we call it. Gone, like it's gone. How do I know the grace for favor has come upon me? Number one, I believe it because the word of God says it. But number two, my phone begins to be full of mysterious calls from people. Where are you? There has to be a physical performance. Hallelujah. Thank you. How do I know that the barrenness situation has gone? Number one, because of the integrity of the word of God. But number two, my stomach will start protruding. Is that true? You're a woman and your stomach will protrude and they will tell you it's a child there. Yeah, not that it's a growth. And after nine months you give birth. Now you know the word of God has come. How do I know God has visited my finances? One, because the word of God says so. Number two, because supernatural wisdom and favor comes upon me. The anointing will make me start thinking in a certain way. The anointing will manage my belief systems to start thinking consistent with the way of one who produces wealth and then programming a climate of favor around my life. How do I know speed has arrived in my life? Because the word of God says so. But number two, be between now and the end of September, I will see God do things that he did not do in the last five, six years together. Do you believe what you are hearing? How do I know my prayer requests have been answered? It's not just because Joshua Selman knelt down and spoke over it. No, the word of God says so, one. But number two, I keep a copy of what I submitted here and watch the faithfulness of God. Lord, I agreed for a job and by Monday, someone calls you and said, I'm sorry, I would have given you since July, I forgot. Now you know the book of remembrance has been opened. You now take it. The Lord spoke to me to pay your rent for three years before you get established. Now you know favor has arrived. How do you know that a new anointing has come upon your life? Number one, the word of God says so. But number two, you will begin to see results. Results that were not in your frame of reference before now. As a man of God, you begin to see results. Supernatural manifestations of the power of God. Dramatic things that only God can do through men. Koinonia, I pray for you. May this be your portion this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Commanding results in the kingdom is not rocket science. The grace of God has demystified these things so that the saints will understand. Hear me. God is glorified when we rise give us some thirty again now you will understand it says that my glory will praise you i can praise you even without results but i need my glory to praise you thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing thou has put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness verse 12 it says give us verse 12 please to the end that my glory that means as you are worshipping, your car outside is also worshipping. As you are worshipping, the baby is also worshipping. Your results should also worship God.
this is why we are here tonight and if you are coming here for the first time you are welcome you will know that you came to a place where God dwells because my God will surprise you this night so what is God doing tonight one he's healing two he's bringing deliverance three he's bringing breakthroughs number four he's bringing restorations do you believe this number five I believe he's opening the book of remembrance listen God never forgets but men can forget and it is equally dangerous when men forget you hallelujah the Bible says the keeper of Israel he neither sleeps nor slumber look at the gentleman who gave his testimony I hope when you listen to these testimonies you are learning from them now the man told him I have signed the contract and yet the man forgot the same way somebody thought that it was you he blessed and forgot he must remember this night in the name of Jesus Christ anywhere your portion is hiding in this city and in this nation in the name of Jesus if you believe it I declare over you by the God who called me he must look for you in the name of Jesus please sit down I believe this oh I believe this let the atmosphere of faith help that lady under the anointing please participate in everything we are doing tonight don't waste your time you came here since morning don't just watch others and clap when we are saying shout Jesus when when the power of God is moving touching people don't just be passive and you are watching and saying wow it was a powerful service that's not what you came to do this is not a cinema this is not a museum you came because there are some things that must give way you came because your ministry the mockery and the shame around your ministry as though God did not call you you came to encounter grace that will rewrite the narrative of your ministry so if you're a man of God a woman of God don't sit down as if the anointing is not available for you to receive if ye being evil know how to give good gifts God is a giver did you hear that God is a giver let me give you one prayer point father my portion in life and destiny my prophetic portion I receive it in the name of Jesus it must gravitate towards my life please open your mouth and pray that portion of grace allocated for my efficiency and God is able to make all grace abound towards you. God is able to make all grace abound towards you. Let me add one more prayer point father let me enter my season of results that my hand will hold something a season of results please open your mouth and pray my season of results let my life capture your faithfulness everywhere pray you are following online pray a season of the performance tired of being at the same level
me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. I need a consolation to my Christian experience. In the name of Jesus, put a new song in my mouth. A, pray, a song of praise to our God that many will see and fear and put their trust in you. Let my life carry the evidence of being a child of God. Let my life carry the evidence of being a favored one. Let my life carry the evidence of carrying the mantles and the graces that you have given me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. We do not serve God just because of results. We love him more than that. However, however, there are many people whose knowing God depends on your results. Are we together? When Peter stood before the Jerusalem council in defense of the miracle that happened, the Bible says the man who was healed was standing with him. It is one thing to declare Jesus based on the authority of scripture, but it's one thing to declare Jesus in the presence of your evidence. You are a true witness when your evidence is there. You can tell people God lifts and they will believe but when you are lifted and you say God lifts it will be stupid to doubt you this is what I'm praying because see many of you you're promoting the purposes of God is not efficient because the evidence that you need as a man of God you can't keep telling people God opens doors they keep shouting amen indefinitely they are human they will be tired do you mind praying this prayer one more time Father, in the name of Jesus, let my life command an evidence. The proof of your faithfulness seen in my life. The proof of victory seen in my life. The proof of favor seen in my life. The proof of intimacy with the Holy Spirit seen in my life. in my life. Sin in my life. Give me a change of story. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.